Now we are going to talk about the anatomy of the trachea and bronchial tree. The trachea and bronchial tree form a system of airways that allows the passage of air to the lungs. So just to orientate you, here we have the hyoid bone. This shield shaped cartilage is called the thyroid cartilage. And below that is the cricoid cartilage. The trachea itself extends from the cricoid cartilage at the level of the sixth cervical vertebrae all the way down to its bifurcation into the left and the right main bronchus. The bifurcation is called the carina and the carina is at the level of the fourth thoracic vertebrae. You can see here that the cricoid cartilage is a complete ring of cartilage, whereas the tracheal cartilages are C-shaped. And if I turn the model round, on the posterior aspect runs the tracheolus muscle. The trachea bifurcates into the left and right main bronchus. And you can see that they're anatomically very different. The right main bronchus has a more vertical orientation compared to the left main bronchus, which is more horizontal. The right main bronchus is also wider and it's shorter. So in cases of aspiration, food tends to go down the right main bronchus. The right and left main bronchi undergo further branching to produce secondary bronchi and each secondary bronchi supplies a lobe of the lung. Now the right lung has three lobes, the upper lobe, the middle lobe and the lower lobe. And the left lung has two lobes, the upper lobe which also divides into the smaller lingular lobe and the lower lobe. 